Specialist Terrace. I'll be your instructor today for M8, M9 paper, as well as the Seaburn marking kit. All right. Uh, for the first one, we're going to go over M8, M9 paper. Our task is to identify slash detect liquid chemical agents using M8 or M9 paper. Our conditions are that you're in a tactical environment or an area where there is a chemical threat. You're given a protective mask and M8 or M9 paper. This will be your M8 paper in a moment. And then this will be your M9 paper dispenser. Or that we're going to detect and identify all chemical agents within the capabilities of the M8, M9 paper without becoming a casualty. <laughs> all right, so first order of business. Let's pass these around. Sorry, Archer. Woo! One more pass. Special speed. Uh, does this one work? It does. Special Smith. Ah. Sir. Oh. Good guy. And <laughs> we'll go here. So, M9 paper. The idea behind M9 paper is that it will be able to tell you that you have come into contact with a chemical agent that you may think is water or something else, all right? It's, it'll only detect liquids, not gas. All right, so the idea being, if I brush up against a tree or something and it's got liquid chemical agents on it, this will turn red instead of green. It's a very obvious color change. You'll be able to know. All right, so you'll want it on, you know, each part of your body, high, medium, and low. So the first one, is gonna go on your upper arm, upper dominant arm. So for me, my right shoulder area, if you're left-handed, it'll be your left shoulder area. You'll want the tab facing away from your body. You want it longer than this one, ideally. You want the tab like that, all right? So go ahead, tape up your buddy um, with the tab facing out from their body, all right? There's a sticky side and a non-sticky side. Uh, you want the sticky side wrapped around their arm so they meet on the other side. Oh yeah, the dispensers, you pull one side, the tape comes out the other. Let me call it, let me call it. You want to go? Use it liberally, that's what you said. Under you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Make sure it's really tight. Now put the time on. Then apply the tourniquet. And <laughs> even if your life situation, you still want to do a bit longer. Teeth but on one side of the box that you can use to cut the M9 paper. Easier. Yeah, it's out. Buddy up. <laughs> so, next step, after you do your uh, shoulder area on your dominant side, you're going to take your non-dominant side, you're going to put one on your wrist. So I've got one high on my body, one on the medium portion of my body, and then after we do your left wrist or your right wrist, depending on which side is your non-dominant, we'll put one on our ankle, dominant side ankle. All right, high, medium. Low. You want to do both sides, both arms? Both arms? Uh, yeah, so you'll have one on your upper right shoulder and then one on your left wrist. So pull, pull out. Uh, feed this. Here. Make it a little easier on you. Out. Okay. Uh, and then it has a little cutter here. And you'll go around the wrist, but you want the tab facing away from his body so that he brushes up against something and be able to notice instead of just on his wrist. You guys want a new box? Hey, or you want to go? I don't care. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Thank you. All right. You want you? That's right. You guys are great. Everybody's learning so fast. The MA papers that I had you guys get. Let's go ahead and round them all up in here. Just start handing these out. Here you go. Here you go. They have perforations down the center and that, so they're easy to pull out. You go ahead and just pull out. 
one or two, it doesn't matter. They're also perforated down the center, so you can tear them in half. We'll grab one tab. And then what we're gonna do is hold it like so. All right, take the information sheet, put it like that. Put it over the detection hand, all right? So I've got it like this. So I can read this, I can detect stuff, and I don't spill liquid on the booklet and waste the entire booklet, all right? What we're gonna do is we have a practical exercise for this one. I'm gonna start over here and have you guys just file in. We're gonna go ahead and detect these liquids. All right, so come up to here, go through. Let's try to observe a color change. All right, everybody got it? Let's go. Which one's the nerve agent? All of them. Oh, here, let me move this over. Pick one. Pick any, pick one, pick one. And be prepared to dab with the left so that you don't spill any on the booklet. Got that? We'll go ahead and dab it like that. Then I'll have you walk over there and try to observe for a color change. But do this. So you'll have the booklet on top of the arm like that so you don't get it wet. And then, yep, go ahead and dip it in. Awesome. And then see if it changes color. I'll have you go over there though so we can get more people through. Specialist means, how you doing? So you'll have it on top of your wrist like this so you don't spill it. And then go ahead and dab with your dominant hand. There you go. Then I'll have you sit to the side. Go. Purple Purple Pink's got it. Does it matter which one? Uh, it doesn't matter which one, but go ahead and put the booklet over your other arm so you don't spill it. Class Tiff, mm. how you doing? Good, you. That concludes my class for MA M9 paper. Does anybody have any questions about the M8 or M9 paper? <laughs>